I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F-633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta-62 Arcus. All right. Please. Z322, initiate reset. Authorization code Gamma 49 Typhoon. Why's it gotta be so quiet? Yeah, stay gone. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code Beta 77 Tempest. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta 93 Stratus. That's all of them. Objective complete. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return, and... Good work. Hey there. Yeah? Shouldn't the coroner be doing that instead? Yeah? Hi. Hey, let me take a look at you. See where it hurts. Not interested. All right, excuse me.
Don't let Maxon's age fool you. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced soldier. Lancer Captain Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving. From what I hear, that rogue scent at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Good to see you. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. Remember, health and happiness go hand in hand.
Hello. Someone there. Combat oh. initiated. What? Who's there? Good enough. Gonna splatter your brain! What? Scared already? <laughs> Where are you? So You're actually good to the
You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here... I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They kept me alive, too. They did, indeed. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me, would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. What do you mean, the synths will be repurposed? Modifications will be made to correct the defects in their programming and they'll be assigned to new duties within the Institute. Not the first or last time it will happen. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course, but they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation, our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in.
asked my friends if they'd take up arms for their freedom. I was surprised at the number of volunteers. Perhaps once the fighting begins, many others will join us. But we will fight and die very quickly unless we have weapons. A lot of them. Given the right materials, we can make our own crude but serviceable weapons. Unfortunately, we're missing a few critical ingredients. I have weapons I can give you. Excellent. Deposit anything you can spare in Maintenance Closet 3B. But we need enough weapons to arm an entire rebellion. So the ingredients are still necessary. What ingredients? Gunpowder, laser focusing crystals, and a couple other things. Couldn't we just steal some weapons? All munitions are tightly guarded by the SRB. Even if we managed to take some, it would certainly be noticed. And surprise is essential to everything. Go on. The Institute's always expanding. Excavation just completed on one of the sublevels. The mining equipment has been packed into crates and they haven't been moved yet. That equipment has everything we need. Thanks to Mr. Binet, the construction crew is populated solely by my friends. But they're under constant supervision. How do you feel about killing some guards? I'll do it, if it's necessary. <sighs> we could come up with no other way. After you eliminate the guards, we'll move the supplies and blow up the tunnels behind us. To the SRB, it will be a tragic construction accident that killed many synths. Rare, but not unheard of. And then, our dead friends can assemble the weapons we need. Good luck.
looks quite defensible. Hey, pal. Best not to talk to the raiders. They can get rough. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done, all that he has built. Best part of my day is coming home to my girls. Greetings, sir. Welcome to the commissary. Would you care for food? There's a lot of hubris around here lately. I don't care for it. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Nice work bringing that rogue synth back.
reporting status. All functions normal. Greetings, citizen. I believe you have business with the guards. Retaining Sir. unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Excuse me. We await your instructions. After your business is concluded with the guards. Nothing to report, sir. Scanning. Subject identified. Please direct all inquiries to G981. Operating at full capacity. <laughs> Contact detected. Oh. Initiating self defense. to terminate you in self-defense. You are damaging valuable institute property. Leave now. Soon, this will all be under rubble. Remember Z1's plan, everyone. Grab everything we can use. The crates, especially. We have little time. It is best you go, for your sake.
what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. All systems nominal. You have done your part, and will do ours. Weapon construction will begin immediately. This is a good start. The greatest challenge remaining is keeping all of this secret from the SRB. So we're being very careful, which unfortunately takes time. For now, please continue working with Father. We can't afford for him to grow suspicious. When my people are ready, I will contact you. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Uh... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Excuse me, but, sir, are you sure this is, well, the proper time to be discussing that? Considering, I mean, given all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready. 
But recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! You can't please, be serious! Everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Humanity's future is taking root right here. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Pardon me, sir. I dislike resorting to the use of Commonwealth technology. But the advantage it will provide in this case cannot be overlooked. Son. I hope you realize how important mass fusion is to our overall goal.
Dr. Fillmore. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I can handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I trust myself more. So, are you gonna put up a stink, or can we get moving? Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately.